Thank you, Stone. Uh, and yeah, thank you for that amazing um, performance. I will say I don't have the uh, the dance skills that were just shown on stage, but I will be talking about something that is just important because it was mentioned on stage before uh, about hacking into your wallet. So I'm Ariel. I lead a uh, kind of brand and story at Ledger. We secure the world's digital value and hopefully we make you feel more safe on a daily basis. And so we're going to talk about that today. Um, you know, thank you again to John and for everyone who came to the speaker dinner last night, along with our co-host Balenciaga. Uh, we really believe that this past year has been a true year of creative resilience, and it's amazing to see everyone coming here today and together um, over the years. Now, as you can see on the screens around you, and we kind of teased this uh, last year, but we're very, very excited today to be showcasing that as of this morning, um, we actually have launched something that has been a year and a half in the making, uh, something called Letter Stacks, which we actually, woo, woo, um, I'm trying to get the slide to work, but maybe that will be, there we go. So uh, let's, let's watch this and you can learn a little bit more stacks. Ledger Stacks was, was designed by Tony Fidel, who invented the iPod. He's been incredibly involved in this product. Um, as you can see, it's the world's first curved e-ink screen device. You can name it, play it, personalize it, which we'll get into today. But the reality is, is why, you know, why does that matter and why should we care about that? Truthfully, for what we do at Ledger, all that exists for us is actually to try and make collectors and creators feel secure. And, and understood. And so in this aspect of the bear market last year, it was so important for us to actually double down on creative resilience. We wanted to make sure that in order to continue to generate product authority, which means working with culture and building in communities, we needed to do that by actually maintaining and doubling down on our work with artists. I mean, many of you in the room, we've actually done collaborations with over the years. And so just a few examples of that is actually by making the work that we do, which feels very URL, more IRL. So we were so pleased to work with Seth and Luke at the team at Bright Moments over the last two years. It's a global education partnerships. And not only was it amazing Paris actually eat a chocolate ledger, but we also were able to, in each city, make a custom ledger so that new individuals could understand that not only do they want to you know, take care of and secure their value, but be able to use it. Same with our partnership with Sotheby's. If you are a high value digital collector and you buy a piece of art from Sotheby's, you get a special ledger where you actually learn how to take care of your value. Similarly, we loved working with Grant on this collab that we did. Same with the work with Artifact. It's all about how Ledger comes to life and making sure that no matter what's happening in the market, it doesn't matter because artists are going to be the ones who bring in the future users. There's going to never be a question about that for us. But you can't just have it be about the, the broader artwork because in the reality, if we don't make it easier for you to use our ecosystem, then we're also failing. And so we made sure over the last year that we actually invested as well because Ledger has a secure operating system. So we work from the devs to the full experience and we're omni-chain. We shouldn't be saying what choice matters because if we say a certain chain is more important than another, then we're saying a certain group of artists is more important than another. And the reality is that every artist deserves to have the ability to be secure, shine, and used. And we want to amplify that with different communities and integrations. So within Ledger Live, we made it so it's not just about spam NFTs, it's actually also about seeing your great work. Or whether it's for our education work, because if you're educated, you know that you're going to use a Ledger. Um, and the truth is we have the third largest global education platform for free in this space. And we have a Web 2 version of that, and then we also have a Web 3 version of that, which is our Ledger Quest work, which is really special and great. But what now? I mean, we're literally in a time where Donald Trump was just talking about self-custody. We have the elections coming up. We have AI coming in. 
suddenly we have incredible abundance and no understanding of how to deal with scarcity. And that's really where digital ownership and this revolution of value comes in. So this, I love this quote because it's so important. Like so much of the last cycle was about use cases and content and amazing work. But if you don't have the interoperability and the user experience, you actually can't do anything with it. We used to talk about this in media all the time. Content, content, content. But what's the pipeline that fills it? So Ledger has spent a lot of time thinking about what that is. And that's why we see Stacks as a big step and advancement in this next phase of the user experience. Because for the first time ever, the chip that also secures your passport and your credit card is now directly connected to a secure touchscreen, which means that in the future, it's not just about storing value or using value once in a while. It'll be your logins, the way you use your membership, the way you have your digital value online, and it'll be easier. And like, I'm sure not that many people in this room are actually thinking fully about their digital footprint. Like if you actually think about Gmail photos, um, how many wallets you have, where you actually have your logins, all of these pieces, like even you know, like things you've done recreationally in the past, A, you don't have control over that, and B, you don't own it. Tomorrow, someone could decide that you don't get access to that anymore because we've grown up in the revolution of information, which is about convenience. Now we're going into the revolution of value, which is about understanding that you have a choice over what you choose to share in your information, and Ledger is uncompromising in supporting around that. And so it's really important as we go into this next phase that we build tools that help you have that. So we believe in the needs of use of stacks, as I said. The user experience of this product is closer to a 2.0 than most of these products that get launched, like what we've seen with recent AI hardware, like Rabbit and Humane, where it's much more about the software catching up to the hardware. We wanted to make sure that it's something advanced that you can be excited about, and also that you can take the artwork that you know and love put it on the front of that e-ink screen, which is the same thing that's used for Kindle, leave it up there without draining your battery for almost a month, personalize it, change it multiple times a day if you want to, depending on which friend you're seeing, and start to see when you have something on your desk that it says something about you. That again, we make that URL IRL. And in addition, we have something amazing called Art on Stacks. This is where we work with beautiful artists who are creating special pieces that will only be available if you have Stacks and if you have the Art on Stacks NFT, which I'm not giving any suggestions, but there are some available to Mint if you would like. And this is going to be launching in the summer. And we've been really proud because one thing that I didn't mention before is Ledger also has an NFT collection of our own. We believe one day we know that it'll be worth just as much as like JP Morgan's, for example. So not only do we want to support artists in the biggest way, but we also want to collect, hold, and share. And we use this as a way to onboard new folks into the space. And, and then really to do all of that with our uncompromising security. Um, you know, there's nothing that you can't do tomorrow that won't be easier if you don't feel like you're getting hacked and scammed. And the reality is your phone was built for breath. It wasn't built for security. We know what we do. We want to make it better for you. We want creators and collectors to understand that creative custody is the underpinning for what will make this world successful. Because if not art, then what is life? And for us at Ledger, if not self-custody, then why crypto? So we have two workshops happening, one later today, one tomorrow. Please come and say hi to the rest of the team. We're going to be building these. Mo, Yvonne, Eugenie. Jim, Paul, um, we're all here to take your feedback and make it better. Like we couldn't do what we do if we didn't actually care about each of your feedback. So thank you for your patience again on this product. Thank you to NFC and really all of you for taking the time right now. Again, not dancing off the stage, but we are so excited uh, to be here today. So thank you.